Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. Do county court records show both pending and closed cases? County court records are comprehensive and include a wide range of case information. Here's a breakdown of what you can expect to find. In Franklin County, Ohio, for example, the probate court's general case index search provides access to all records, which are updated daily, excluding the routine backup times between 10 p.m. and 2 a.m. on weekdays and random times on weekends. For criminal and traffic cases in Franklin County Municipal Court, the records include both pending and closed cases. You can determine court dates and times of pending cases by using the proper case number, and case files can be accessed through the clerk's office. The Northern District of Ohio's U.S. District Court also maintains records of both pending and closed cases. The Case Management Electronic Case Files, CM, ECF, system and the Public Access to Court Electronic Records, PACER, system offer access to docket sheets and documents for most criminal and civil cases, including those that are pending and those that have been closed. In Delaware County, Ohio, the Clerk of Court's Office allows you to search information about appellate, civil, domestic relations, and felony criminal cases, which includes both pending and closed cases. This information can be found through their online system or by visiting the courthouse. Accessing the records. To access these records, you typically need to know the case number or the name of the parties involved. For electronic access, systems like PACER and CMECF require registration and may charge fees for document retrieval. For instance, PACER charges 10 cents per page with a maximum charge of $3 per document and fees are waived if the total is less than $30 in a quarter. Additional deed for older cases, especially those before 1999, the records might be in paper format and stored at the court or federal records centers. In such cases, you would need to contact the court directly or visit the Records Center to access the files. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning into our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.